Oh. Look at us, Alexis. Hmm. Look at Stavros. He actually looks happy. Where were these taken? In the summer villa in Paros. Of course. Oh, here we are sailing. These are wonderful. I thought you'd enjoy them. You know, I don't remember ever having seen any of these before. Well, in the, in the course of the renovation, George found them under the floorboards in your father's private retreat. Well, that's odd. Why would my father hide photographs under the floor? He was afraid Helena would destroy them when she found out why that retreat was so private. He was always discreet. Yet somehow everybody knew. Well, it was a different time, Alexis. A different culture. A man was practically expected to have a mistress. Right. And besides, it was never as bad as Helena claimed. She just enjoyed raging about it in public. And in front of the children. That's my mother. Always perverse. That one is my favorite. All the men standing there with their fathers. And you doing your best to make it seem like I wasn't the only girl. I always enjoyed being your protector, Alexis. Sometimes I even miss it. So do I. Who is this woman with my father? I have no idea. each one to show the police in case of robbery. Well, whoever she is, it isn't important now. We both know who she is. Why don't we just come out and say it? All right. She's most likely one of father's mistresses. But which one? How about the only one whose name he spoke out loud? Kristen. The notorious Kristen. She's very beautiful, isn't she? Quite. Your father seems very proud of her. Some people say that she was the only woman he ever truly loved. And the only woman your mother truly hated. happily married couple. I recall hearing that she was a governess for one of the other families on the island. Actually, she was originally from Stockholm. Helena first laid eyes on her in church on Easter Sunday, and she instantly knew that Kristen would take away her husband. Is this fact or legend? And if it were true, how would you know all of this? Stephanie told me. Stefan, your governess? The help was strictly forbidden from speaking about father's personal life. We went out sailing one day. We went past the villa, and I wanted to know why no one was ever allowed there. A little begging, a little bribery, and she told me. You and Stavros knew nothing. No. Though Helena enjoyed using father's affairs to embarrass him and berate him, she was always careful to leave out the details. Did uh, Stephanie mention the child? She said she was a girl. And she died as well, along with Kristen. There were complications at birth. Was the child given a name? She was christened uh, Natasha. Natasha. She would have been my sister. I think I would have enjoyed that. Difficult to accept. Stefan, it was only a rumor. There's no proof. No. With Helena, there never was. But I'll tell you this. It would pose no problem for her 
to kill my father's mistress and their love child. Do you think if Kristen had lived, well, do you think your father would have left his family for her? My father was a mystery to me, and remains so. But men do strange things for love. Of that, I'm certain. Thank you for showing me the photographs. I'll see you in the morning. Stefan, while we're on the subject of family, can we discuss Catherine? Since when did you refer to Catherine as family? This is really about Nicholas. If he continues to live at Catherine's, I think that we should be involved. What do you have in mind? A family dinner at her place. It'll show Nicholas that we've accepted his decision to stay there, and I think it may make Catherine more comfortable as well. It's a good thought. Catherine and I have made an effort to become more friendly. Oh, you want to tell me why you're so distracted? Well, guess. <laughs>